<laughs> you don't seem like someone who would consciously take enjoyment from the suffering of others, but you unconsciously take enjoyment from the suffering of others. If someone's not finishing their food and it's got meat in it, I would still eat it. What if there was a human baby cut up in that food and that food was going to go to waste, would you still eat it? Why aren't you vegan? Why am I not vegan? Yeah. Because it's like milk powder, like I don't really want to spend ages yeah. looking in the shops checking if everything doesn't have milk powder milk and stuff. Powder in it. Are you vegan except for milk powder? Um, well I don't drink milk, I grew up dairy free. Oh it's good. Quite easy. So what about cheese and eggs and that? Cheese, yeah. <clears throat> you do, you do yeah. cheese? It's a hard one. So it's not just milk powder is it? Uh, no, no. So, so, Vegetarian so I, I would believe your excuse if you didn't eat cheese and you just didn't worry about milk powder? Yeah. It's the effort to go vegan would be checking everything. It's interestingly enough not just the milk powder is it? Because mm. if that was a bit in too inconvenient for your threshold, mm. you would have already gotten rid of the, the cheese and the eggs. Do you know why I don't eat dairy? Why not? Because of the yeah. suffering and cruelty and killing in the dairy industry, mm. exploitation and killing of the animals. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Stealing of the calves from the mothers and the slaughterhouses. Mm. And I don't think it's uh, justified. So I have this five minutes of like taste pleasure on my tongue, a certain mm. flavor for the animals to experience that. Mm. on the back of it. What about I you? Agree with you. <laughs> you agree? Huh? You agree? It's like ignorance, like... Yeah. Because you might, well basically, if you go and get some cheese, you're not going to get flashes of what happens to animals as you're eating it. No. But I do because I, I invest... Like I went veggie because it was easy. Yeah. And then, as soon as it starts becoming not easy... That's when you have to start making that... ignorant. Yeah. You have to make that trade-off then. So you have yeah. to go, okay, it's not as easy for me to be fully vegan, but how much harder is it for the victims here Mm. And do I care enough about the victims to try that a little bit harder? It's on my way somewhere, but this is more interesting. Than what yeah, <laughs> but um, I mean, you, you don't seem like a cruel person. You don't seem like a person who... That one. <laughs> you don't seem like someone who would consciously take enjoyment from the suffering of others. But you know. unconsciously yeah. take enjoyment from the suffering of others. Ignorance is bliss, but yeah, like it's not attacking, but it's like... It's I mean, frontal. like the things you're saying, yeah. They, they are, people they, don't yeah. often... Like to be no, because <laughs> no, it doesn't make them feel very good. Yeah. If a cow could plead with you not to destine them to a slaughterhouse or to a mm. life of suffering, what would they say to you? You know, they'd be a lot harsher on the, you than I'm yeah. being. I don't like to pussyfoot around topics too much. I like mm. to be straight, like a straight talker. If we spent too much time beating around the bush, mm. then we never really get to the guts, the crux of it. If I cared about animals and someone said, hey, do you know that this happens in the dairy industry? Mm. I'd be like, thank you, man. I'm, yeah. Thanks for telling me that, eh? Yeah. I actually do care about these animals. Mm. But if I didn't really care and I cared more about my taste, I'd be like, oh, it's a bit hard. It's a bit too inconvenient for me. You know what I mean? I don't, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because no. I, I don't really care. It's more lip service. But if you really care, you'd be like, I'm interested, where's the vegan cheese? Are you in favor of the gradual approach, like the meat reduction approach? <clears throat> so I never or? tell people to reduce. Really? Ever. Yeah. I only ever say you should be vegan because it, you it's a moral duty to, if you care about animals, to be oh, vegan. You should give it your 100%. <clears throat> you yeah, care. yeah, and, and you know what sometimes happens? Because I don't advocate reduce because it's so subjective. I'll say, oh, I'll reduce your meat and you'll be like, well, I ate 10 steaks today. He said reduce, I'm going to eat nine and a half. Well, I'm reducing, thanks, Joey, bro. Really care about animals. He's a great animal rights activist. Yeah. You know, nah. So, I, I, yeah, but so like people sometimes they hear my message, it's really full on and they go, wow, and they start going vegetarian and they mm. start cutting things out. You know, mm. veganism is like the most practical thing for people to reduce this suffering and exploitation and killing of animals. Mm -hmm. I think it's the most practical thing that most people can do. I'm not saying like just wear a paper bag around and like don't step on an ant. Yeah. I'm just trying to be practical and say like, you can just not buy and use animal, animal products. Like I feel like when I feel confronted, I just feel more inclined to back my own opinion and reject all the facts in front of me. Oh, really? I think that's really I think Do you think that's irrational? That. Do you think it's irrational? Yeah, I think you see it in politics. Let's just say you didn't listen to me. Yeah. You didn't listen to anyone mm. and you just analyze the reality for yourself. Where would you sit then? Yeah. What about, can I give you one film to watch? Yeah, so I'll then you can just shot. view what happens to the animals and don't, don't worry about what I say and just, like, th just ask yourself, is that is justified and should I, is this something I want to do, contribute yeah. to or not? Yeah. And then it's just the animals, you do it for the animals because I always tell people like they should go vegan because it's the right thing to do and it's for the right reasons, mm. not because someone told them to or because they felt, you know, that, I don't know, actually. Yeah. I hope that people's conscience does the talking for themselves and I just try to help lead them there. I, I think this is meaningful change, but it's like down on the individual and I guess it's like a lie I can tell myself, but if I were to be, I feel there's like a, like a lot of 
That's where my uncle lives in Germany, he's vegan, and there's no vegan options over there. So if you go to a supermarket, everything's like, there's not a lot of anti-meat culture. There's no like, veg like vegan aisle. It would be hard to make all those people individually believe that veganism would be the right choice. But if they saw the range of alternatives in the supermarkets, like, like a structural way Practical to thing. end, mm. or even reduce <clears throat> animal suffering. That's good. Yeah, no, but that's like another way of me not becoming vegan. Yeah, just, you're, you're, you're basically <laughs> passing, there. you're saying, oh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're like, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, there's, like, there's, there's, there's uh, people in Antarctica that have thing, to eat fish. And I think the shit thing about being vegan is people, I feel like people must hold you to a really high moral standard. All the time. They expect you to be a doctor, yeah, a biologist, yeah, yeah. an evolutionary specialist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's me, must be one of the board. <clears throat> and it's really, it's really a simple thing. It's, it really is simple. People overcomplicate it. And what happens, I feel like, is something else starts talking with people, mm. and it's their habit, and it's their love the taste of this I don't want to change that and it's convenience yeah. and it's it's just it's you know it's a culture it's a cultural norm yeah and right now it's a cultural norm to exploit and kill animals yeah you know just like in the time of you know take it back to like times of slavery or you know just people generally having wars and sword fights in the streets and these were just cultural norms and this is what this is it's a cultural norm but in the future it's going to be looked back at as like why did we do that and, th and then you'll be like well I remember having that conversation with one of those activists back then when you're like 80 years old and you're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, going to change because they this this injustice like this. When people realise how bad it is, like, these are conscious beings. These are like us. These animals are like us yeah. in many ways. In the ways that matter for morality to be a thing. Yeah. For you to be morally worth anything, you have to just have a brain, a consciousness, and sentience suffer. Sentience, there. yeah, you experience the world. I think that's where I like to draw the line. Like, yeah, sent of course, <laughs> if, it's, if they're not sentient, I think. I don't yeah. know, like I don't really consider shrimps to be sentient. Shrimps are, uh, oysters probably a bit more of a gray area. I think there's like a gradual scale of where yeah. things but we are can, reactionary. We, we won't, we won't debate over like cows, cows and pigs yeah, no. and chickens yeah, and yeah. fish yeah. with yeah. nervous systems and you know, because yeah, yeah. you go to Cambridge? Did you go to Cambridge? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did the Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness there. Okay. Yeah, but they... Did you, do you know about that? The Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness? They will sign this thing saying that these animals are sentient beings, conscious okay. beings. Like fish was included, I think, and... Because I think there's like a scale from like an amoeba, which reacts, it senses a chemical food gradient and it follows it, or maybe it's repelled by something. So there's a stimulus, then there's a reaction. But then I think with humans I can see on the other end of that there's a stimulus and unless it's like touching a hot stove or something the information is processed before reaction is given which gives you the ability to feel things like pain yeah I think that's the scale of sentience and that's what matters most to me yeah in terms of like animal rights I guess yeah yeah of course I would consider eating and not eating me too that was, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, very yeah, yeah. me too that was couldn't but, have said it better then, myself like, actually I don't think I've ever said it that well so when we as a society come to that realization that we're doing this to these sentient beings mm. like i don't think it can really i mean there's money there's it's, it's going to yeah. take a long time but it can't last forever like yeah it's going to well. be a, a point in time where the where there's like a snowball effect and most of the people in society start to, start to wake up mm. on mass and go well what, what are just, we doing i like i struggle to see fish like a lot of fish are sentient because i can't really relate to them yeah, because they're and, like, so different. Shrimp and because like if you like view it as a scale from like plankton and then like up the fish chain, I think it's hard. Yeah, yeah. but when you get a prawn, there's science on prawns and lobsters, and actually they just but lobsters you can see like they react and whatnot. They don't like being put in boiling pans. Yeah. Shrimp just kind of shrimp. There is research on them too, so I'll just look at the data on that. But like again, if you're gonna say like an oyster. Like mm. a like a snot piece of snot in a shell that has mm. like the beginnings of nerve ganglia, no brain. Mm. Then I'm more grey, but a prawn they have a brain and nervous system and I mean, yeah, eyes. It's a debate because you can just say like because it's you can, like what where, what is pain? And I think pain is only something. It's you a very human concept. Yeah, well, it's yeah. well. Yeah. I think they can uh, they can show that animals feel something they want to avoid and they feel they yeah. ch it changes their behaviour in a bad way, you know, in yeah. a negative way, and they then you give them pain relief and their, and their behavior returns back to no normal. Yeah. So there's ways of testing pain. And that's just more, you need a ba brain to feel pain, perceive it. Yeah. Perceive it. Otherwise yeah. it's just, if your brain dead and, you, and I cut you, you'll heal, you'll react to that stimuli, but there'll be no subject experiencing that pain. And that's, I'm more concerned about the subject. The mm. subject deserves the rights. Yeah. Not the body devoid of a subject, you know, yeah. like a tree or a, you know. Yeah. I mean, nothing. Sea sponge. More, nothing, yeah, no, 
which I can't really believe. It's sponges and animals, I can't believe that. They're not even plants, but... Um, That's, but yeah, I don't care for sea sponges no. myself. So we're having a logical, rational discussion here. I mean, and yeah, I'm you, not you, here to challenge no, you. No, no, no. I like a good chat. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah no, 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 but it. this is very... I mean, would that re has this discussion reinforced you in your habit more, or has it just made you consider this topic a little bit more? Yeah, I think consider it more. Like, Ooh. I'm surrounded by a lot of people who are vegan. Yeah. Is that your name? That is my name, but it's not me. <laughs> um, there we go, coincidences happen. Yeah. And I think like the hardest thing is just like, if you're eating lunch out and you go to get a meal deal and all the vegan options are really shit. And then I feel like the more that I'm eating lunch out, like if I'm working, the less I care about animal rights because it just inconveniences me. Yeah. But then maybe I can see I don't know. Then, yeah. then you just do the scale thing. You do the trade off. Is, is yeah. my slight inconvenience here yeah worth that and I think that's an education thing it's yeah. awareness thing because the one thing I always do or always have done no matter how <coughs> vegetarian I've been if someone's not finishing their food and it's got meat in it I will still eat it what yeah. if okay let me let me see if there's a threshold here what if there was a human baby cut up in that food and that food was going to go to waste would you still eat it I don't want to eat a human baby so, so you have a you do it. have a you do have a <laughs> threshold no but you so like yeah. what, what I was trying to do is seeing how far you took it yeah so you do have I mean, it's like a social problem, right? It helps. Socially yeah. acceptable is eating babies. No, let's just say it was. Meat. Let's just say it was socially acceptable, but you you find it as disgusting as you find it now. Would oh, you? Yeah, like. Would I, you eat them? I find it disgusting because societally it's disgusting. So like, I would never eat. So I would never eat like a ham sandwich that's left over because I, like, I'm not religious, but somehow I've ended up with really anti pork views. Okay. From people who don't eat it for religious reasons. So you wouldn't eat the baby for disgusting reasons, not because that baby was well, I mean, murdered. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, as an analogy. Like, why would I not eat the baby? Because fuck that, I'm not eating that. Yeah, yeah. It's the same with like a pig. Like, like, I don't eat the ba the pig because they were murdered. And, yeah. Uh, I think that there's a uh, the the product of, of murder is something I don't want in my body. Yeah. And I feel like when I first stopped eating pork, which is like a year ago, that's when I realised, like I've said these words, and I think I just need to believe them a bit more. I should feel this way about all meat. And I think when as soon as I cut out pork and was like repulsed by it, I think it's like a scale. And yeah. one day, you I reckon I'll be moving You across. still see meat as food. Um, and I think like when you look at meat, you'll still see food. Yeah, probably still a product. Yeah, yeah, meat. because that's the matrix yeah. thing, you yeah. know. I, I'm like seeing all the numbers and shit, and I'm seeing all the slaughterhouse and the, the animals like struggling for their life, blood pouring out of them and things like that. Yeah. And that's what I see when yeah. I see meat. So let me just give you this pamphlet before you go. I appreciate you spending this time chatting with me, mate. This is a Happy Cow, fine vegan restaurants near you, super good app. Mm. This is uh, Dominion, I already told you about that. Yeah. The most annoying thing you must hear must be like, how do you get your protein? I saw yeah. the pictures. So protein is found in all plants in varying degrees. Yeah, but not all amino acids are equally represented, like plants are. In, in, in each individual plant, no. But when you eat, you don't eat just yeah. lentils by themselves no. or so. You, but what, what I'm saying is when you get enough protein from a variety of plant Plus, foods, yeah. there's a certain threshold that you meet yeah. with a certain amount of food or calories, mm. actually, where, yeah. you, where you meet all your amino acid requirements. I, I use the app Chronometer. It's yeah. a fantastic app, yeah. but it gives you a full nutrient breakdown and it's free. Yeah. It's Chronometer. And that's why I, I chuck all my, my stuff, food in there, like TVP, like uh, I'll go, wow, look how much calcium and fiber and stuff is in this. Yeah. Soy protein and um, it just get, oh, I've got 140 grams of protein today. Yeah. That's good. It's a good chat, mate. Yeah, good talking to you, mate. Day. I appreciate it. Yeah, Have a good yeah. day.